Well, many thanks for subscribing to the Buzz UG. Oh, congratulations to us, guys. Uh, we are talking about 16K subscribers now, and our target is still standing at 20K subscribers. We are soon there. Yes, we are soon there. Uh, let's keep on pushing and inviting other people to come and be part of us right here on the Buzz UG. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing very okay, and welcome to another round of stories making headlines in Uganda today. Now, starting off in northern Uganda, so, Omoro County is deciding today their next member of parliament after the death of Honorable Jacob Olanya. Our NUP's top leadership has already camped right there and they say they are ready to protect the vote for their candidate, that is Simon Tulit. Well, it should be remembered that Andrew Ojok, Jacob Olanya's son, is among the candidates in this tight race. <laughs> We have the supervisors, we will have the electoral commission have allowed us to recruit pipes, uh, supervisors. We have the supervisors, we will have the electoral commission Omoro no bwavu obuliyo bukuba no bulimba sima rwaliro sima kubo sibya abulamu sima somero ne enale mu vanyoro emyaka asatu mwetano baba yetedde zi helicopter balabeko they are ready to vote and protect that vote at all costs tomorrow now, NRM party has been accused of bribery, but their secretary general, that is Richard Todonk, dismissed the claims made by the opposition. Uh, that lady you're seeing there in a yellow t-shirt is a member of NRM, and she was caught giving out money to the voters yesterday. You can never bribe somebody to vote for you, because even if we have had situations where people don't even take money, they just come to meet you and they go. Now, in other news, uh, Dr. Kiza Besige spent a night in Luzira prison after declining to pay a cash bail of 30 million imposed on him by Buganda Road Court. Now, Dr. Kiza Besige recently on the streets of Kampala protested the skyrocketing commodity prices and he was yesterday charged in court with inciting violence. Uh, Besige said this is an extension of injustice he has faced for a long time, but he asked his lawyers to appeal court decision as he endures remand in Luzira. <laughs> Tewali wana nsonga yonera ganti Bibana muwa beiru Ajaku duka Ibibyo nakiris ganyi zanafu Ndi ajaku vula ho Singa koti ya mutadi Atino umaliri zanomu gamba Sasuro bukada satu tulio ketu kute Kikamba chukwe uonyesa Eyo Koti ya tumaze kebi ya ungula Umula muzi Atwe uonyesi zanyo Tumuwe chitibwa Nii salawe ya tetujiwa chitibwa Na yefe Uguta suka ancha well, there you go. Uh, that's one of his lawyers, uh, Lord Mayor Arias Lukwago, and I'll be keeping you posted on the developments related to this story. Well, in other news, 
Uh, former presidential candidate Vanessius Bariam Reba has revealed that Dr. Kiza Besije is protesting not because of the skyrocketing commodity prices, but because he wants to reclaim his position as the top opposition leader from His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, the president of NUP. Now, Professor Bariam Reba says Besije is trying to rejuvenate his political career, but unfortunately, it's not possible because Ugandans have already moved on. Well, he says the best thing for Dr. Kiza Besije to do is retirement from active politics. Otherwise, his protests will not yield anything. Well, there you go. That's the news coming in from Professor Vanessius Bariam Reba's camp, former presidential candidate. Now, in other news... So recently, uh, the Minister of Internal Affairs, General Kahinda Otafire, said that poor people will not step in heaven because they insult God through lamentations and accusations every day. Actually, his statement went viral to an extent that big media houses internationally quoted him. For example, BBC News Africa did quote him. Now, Reverend Father Gaetano, the chairperson of the Interreligious Castle of Uganda in Chigezi region, has described General Otafira's statement as reckless and blasphemous. Uh, Father Gaetano reminded General Otafira that it's government thieves who will go to hell, but not the poor people. Now, Father Gaetano, in his own words, he said, Who has made Ugandans poor? Isn't it the corruption in the NRM government where Otafira is a top official? He should actually apologize to God and Ugandans for his reckless and blasphemous statement. Well, there you go. That's Reverend Father Gaetano, the chairperson of the Interreligious Castle of Uganda in Chigezi region. I don't know if General Kahindo Tafire will apologize or not, but I'll be keeping you posted on the developments. Well, in other news, and this is coming from the entertainment industry, uh, Stacia Mayanja's health condition has worsened. Of course, we all know what Stacia Mayanja is going through right now. I have been giving you updates on her condition, and uh, she's currently admitted at Nakasero Hospital. Now, according to her manager, that is Mr. Lawrence, he says doctors are doing everything possible to save her life, but they have failed to find the disease she's suffering from. Uh, Mr. Lawrence says Stacia Mayanja has challenges with pressure and a lot of headaches, but doctors are doing all the best to make sure that they get her back to normal. Otherwise, more prayers are still needed for Stacia Mayanja, and I'll be keeping you posted on this story. Now, in other news, a video of a man believed to be a witch doctor casting a spell on link buses is making rounds on social media. Uh, the man in the video is seen with a uniform worn by link bus staff in a place believed to be a shrine. Now, this video has left many Ugandans on social media wondering if this could be the reason why this company's buses have been involved in the accidents. Uh, we all know recently 21 people died in a link bus accident that happened in Fort Porto. Uh, we also remember the fire incident and also the robbers in Mitiana. I don't know what you make of these stories, but you can put down your comment in the comment section right there. Otherwise, that's the latest news I have for you on the Buzz UG. And uh, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly do subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Remember, I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything. Thank you.